Hey everyone, happy Friday. I hope you've had a great week. I have missed you this week. Um, I, last Saturday, decided to get back into my skincare. It had been, gosh, I think I looked it up and it's been about three years since I've done anything, um, since I did my Obagi and some different things um, for my skin. So I decided to go get a facial and I didn't go to get a facial just to like relax and everything. I kind of, um, that's kind of the way I start out is I go to my esthetician, I get a facial and then she tells me what she thinks that I need to improve my skin. So of course my issues always are um, just hyperpigmentation. I have different just dark spots um, from melasma, um, age spots, sunspots, whatever you want to call them. And the last thing I did three years ago is I did a vitalized peel and I also did the abaji and it just worked wonders. I mean, it was just amazing the difference in my skin. Now, when I got off of that, um, then came all the uh, media and everything with the, um, let's see, hydroquinone. And so I decided to get off of that for a little while, and then I just kind of got out of it. So now I am getting back into it. I went and got my facial and ended up that day, instead of getting a facial, I went ahead and got a Vi peel. Now this is only the, this is I guess the third peel I've had, but it's only the second one that I've ever had that is the um, a medium depth peel. I think the first one was like a blueberry peel, and it was basically did nothing. Um, the reason I got the Vi Peel instead of the Vitalize again is I really, though I had just wonderful results with the Vitalize Peel, um, I had a lot of um, swelling and rashiness. It's kind of like um, I just had a little bit of a bad reaction to it. I didn't have any scarring or anything. It just was not fun to go through. So this is a new peel that is, you know, if you look it up, you'll see that a lot of the stars are getting it. It's a new peel. It's for any skin type, um, like Asian, um, African American, any skin type. And it says the Vi peel will improve the tone, texture, and clarity of the skin, reduce or eliminate age spots, freckles, hyperpigmentation, including melasma, soften lines and wrinkles, stimulate the production of collagen, elastin for firmer skin, and clear acne skin conditions. So, I got this done last Saturday. Um, so, I was peeling all week. I am still peeling right now. My neck was peeling. I got it done on my face, my neck, and the backs of my hands. Um, so, I will keep you informed on that. And A lot of you don't care about it, so I'm going to do a separate video on the whole process and what my thoughts are on this. But that, I kind of had to tell you that to, um, one, explain why I haven't been here this week, and two, um, I went back this week, um, I believe it was Tuesday, they had an open house and they had a sale on a lot of the products that I wanted to get. So I can't start using anything until um, one more week. You're supposed to wait two weeks and let your skin kind of get back in its normal pH balance and all that good stuff. Um, so what I got to do that with is I went ahead and got the same um, Obagi um, New Derm System. Now this is the travel size. Um, it comes in a kit like this. It comes with your big pan. Then it comes with this little, you know, setup. And I remember last time I kept it right in this box because up here, I hope you can see, it tells you what to do in the AM and the PM because different products um, are used. Now you get your, um, the gel. You either pick, there's um, the normal to oily and then dry. There's another system for dry skin. I'm pretty much just normal to oily. And so I get the foaming um, cleanser instead of the um, cream. And then you get your toner. And then you get your clear, which has the 4% um, hydroquinone. It's skin bleaching and corrector cream. And so you only use that, um, or use this AM and PM. Um, Exverderm Forte, which is your exfoliation. So you just use that in the AM, and it says that on there. Um, blender which I'll tell you about in a minute, but the blender you use in the PM. Um, let's see. This is another foaming gel. I guess they give you an extra one because you're going to run out of that. And then this is the sunscreen that I've always used. So um, I use that every day. I use it this morning. And I really like it just as a makeup base. So um, that's what you get there. And I cannot 
remember how much this was, but I will put um, all the links in the down bar of all these products. Now, to go with that blender, what you need is a Tretinoin, which is like a Retin-A, um, Renova, all those type things. You need a cream to mix with that blender, and what Retin-A does is it takes all these bleaching and skin agents and it takes it deep down into the skin because you can get a peel and peel off that you know superficial layer of skin but you still need something to get down deep into the skin to get rid of the um, hyperpigmentation and stuff like that I know I sound like a uh, esthetician you can tell I've listened to <laughs> but I do pretty much know about this because I've done it before um, and again I will probably do a separate video on the Obagi and you know my thoughts and everything. I'm just kind of letting you know what I got and um, if you're interested you can ask me questions. But this is the Rafisa. I believe it's a um, it's from the same company that makes Obagi. Um, and what this is, is I had a lot, I, I could not use the Retin-A. Well, I think she started me off with a retinol, like a SkinCeuticals retinol. And I went from the 1% to the 0.5%. I just could not get it where it would not irritate my skin. Now they'll tell you, oh wait six weeks your skin will get used to it and it just wouldn't get used to it. It was just constantly red and um, almost, I hate to say this, but almost like raw in some areas. It would really attack the pigment spots, which is good, but I mean, it, it got old after a while. So the Rafisa is um, very tolerable to a lot of people because, um, here it is, it's in a thick, people with really oily skin probably couldn't use it. It's in a thick ointment, almost like A&D ointment or Neosporin. Um, so that's where it is and so a lot of people can tolerate it and they they really think that I can so and there was a girl that worked in the office that had just had the um, Vi peel done it was on the Abaji and they showed me her before and after pictures and it was amazing she had the melasma that is almost like a mustache and it went all around her mouth and then big patches on her sides and when I looked at her face it was gorgeous gorgeous I mean just beautiful skin and all she had on was mineral makeup so got that and then this is something that they gave me a sample of and I just loved it um, and it is called is is clinical youth eye complex from innovative skin care and um, they had two sizes but I got the larger one because it was a lot more I think for the price now it was expensive to me it was $85 for this which was um Oh, goodness um, 15 milliliters 0.5 fluid ounces but you know eye cream lasts forever ever since I've been using this I can tell a big difference in the um, it's supposed to be for um, let's see rapidly smooths hydrates reduces puffiness and dark circles youth eye complex combines powerful peptides key growth factors and potent antioxidants to rapidly reduce wrinkles puffiness under eye circles, um, uses intelligent proteins, clinically pr proven to regenerate damaged sight. I used uh, the entire little uh, sample that I had. I could tell that my skin was just stronger looking under my eyes. And to me, that just means a lot um, because it's so sensitive under there. So um, I got that and I'll let you know on that too. Um, so, got that this week. The um, Vi peel, just in case anybody wants to know, um, when you look it up, some places on the internet say it's a thousand dollars. Some places say it's five hundred. Um, mine was two hundred and fifty, and I think that's pretty common with um, you know your pretty good strength peels. So that was one of the reasons I got it that day um, because the facial was going to be seventy-five. So I figured I'm just going to skip the facial and I just got the peel. And um, I'm glad I did. I've seen good results so far, but like I said, I'll do another video on that. Um, when I was in there that day, I the girl I was telling you about that looked so pretty. I had to get it out of my purse. The girl that was in there that her skin looked so pretty, when I was talking to her, I just happened to notice, of course, her lip gloss. And I thought it was probably lipstick because the color was so pretty. And I asked her what it was. I figured it was probably the Glow Minerals because that's what they sell, but it wasn't. It was um, Mirabella. And a couple of times, I think that's probably the third time that I've asked somebody what they were wearing and they were wearing this brand and I didn't realize that I could get it anywhere in town. So I looked it up and I found a place um, in my town that sells it. So I went the next day and got it and I just love it. It is the prettiest color. It smells good. It's mineral based. 
Um, the name of it is Ethereal, E T H E R E A L, Ethereal. I don't know how you how you guys pronounce it, but that's how I pronounce it. Um, and it's an outshine lip gloss, and it's very. I don't have it on today. I have on another one, but it's a very just beautiful. Um, I think anybody, red hair, cool tone, warm tone, blonde, brunette, anybody, this would look good on because it's just one of those um, pinks, kind of like ample pink or any of those pinks that is just a good kind of um, nude pink, and it's just beautiful on. So I recommend that to you, and I love it. Now, something great happened when I went to go get that um, is I met a girl um, to do my hair. Not that I didn't like the girl that did my hair before, but I don't know if I've mentioned that I had to drive an hour both ways to go get it done. And that is not that big of a deal, but when you only have X amount of time, you know, and you get it done every five weeks, it does seem to wear on you. So um, I met a new girl, and she did my hair yesterday, and I love it. And her name is Courtney, so if you're watching, hey, Courtney. And um, so I had a good time getting that done yesterday. And um, I'll go along with um, maybe hair. Um, I got some gifts this week. Um, and the first one is from my name is Rita, and it's MQS7524. And um, she heard me mention that I had gotten or wanted to get the boots um, lifting foundation. But I didn't know what color, you know, I wore. And I don't know if you've ever had an experience with Target, but you cannot take back makeup to Target, period. So um, she had gotten the boots in nude, and it was too dark for her. So she sent it to me to try and review for you guys. So here it is, and I really appreciate it. It's such a nice, I mean, this bottle is like Dior or Chanel or something. It's got the um, pump, the real nice pump. And it's just a beautiful bottle. So thank you, Rita. And I'm going to use this. Now, right now, since I had that peel done, I'm just using mineral makeup. I'm using the Laura Mercier this week um, because that's what they suggest that you do. Um, and then she also sent me a box full of goodies. She sent me some Win Hair Care, which I have gotten kind of back into that. And I've got um, a little list together of things, the where are they now. Um, I'm going to do another video on that, and it's going to, Win's going to be in there. But the Lavender Cleansing Cream, which is one of my favorites. The Lavender and the Cucumber are my favorites. And then the Fig Oil, which I have never tried. And I'm hoping that might be similar to the um, Moroccan Oil. And then this, the Lavender Styling Cream, which I have never tried. And the Lavender Body Lotion, which I have never tried. And the Body Cleansing Cream, so, which I have never tried. So thank you so much for that. I appreciate that so much. And then this which is perfect, a nice pad. I use these, I've been using my mermaid one, and it's almost out. And then she also sent me the um, DVD that goes with that, and she sent me a Kai tea latte mix. Um, honey, black tea, and spices. And I am gonna try it. I have never tried anything like this, but I'm going to. So thank you so much, Rita, that was so nice. I got another, yet another birthday gift this week, and it was from my good friend, Sheila, and her YouTube name is Great Makeup. And she doesn't make videos, but her and I have sent each other things back and forth, and she is one of my favorites by far. And um, she sent me a really nice birthday card, and I just loved what it said. It says, 40 is a wonderful place along the pathway of your incredible life. 40 is learning from the past and moving forward with strength and confidence. 40 is old enough to know better and young enough to do it anyway. And I love that. And she sent me some really good stuff. I think I've already, because I used it this morning. She sent me this brush. She said it was one of her favorites. And it is a Bare Essentials ID Heavenly Blush brush, I guess. But what I used it for today, and I was excited to tell you guys this, I used it for my Bronzer Universal. It's perfect for it and a lot of you ask me what brush I use and I usually use that little Chanel touch-up kabuki brush but this one I'm sure is a better price and it worked really well to blend out the bronzer and to apply it it picked up the perfect amount and it just cleaned perfectly I don't think there's any left on there so love this Sheila I appreciate it and then she sent me where is it this and I have this on today and it is the lip fusion in bear and I love it I've got it on right now all by itself no lip liner 
no nothing except for this i um, did the lisa eldridge thing where you put it on when you're putting your makeup on and it gives your you know lips time to plump and then you can put something else on but i loved it so much that i just put more of this on and i just love the color and i think all of you would probably like it so thank you thank you very much sheila for my birthday goodies i love them love them love them so another thing that I got, this I actually ordered last week, and I got it this week from Sephora, and I got another one of the um, Guerlain Parure Extreme Foundations, and I got this in number two. Number two is, gosh, you can't see it. Um, here, let me, I will swatch it for you. So that is number, oh, that is number two. See, and you can see right there just how watery it is but it just has the best coverage. And I love the way it, I mean, it covers instantly, you know, any imperfections. And I didn't know, I don't like a matte foundation, but I really like one that dries. <laughs> I know that sounds silly, but you know, some foundations like NARS Sheer Glow, it feels like it never dries. Well, that one dries, but yet it isn't really, really matte. And that's what I love about it. So I think that is gonna be too light. And number three is pretty much perfect right now, but I think if I do one pump of each, it's going to be perfect. And um, I just love this foundation. I'm really going to, I'm going to do a separate review and then I'll swatch both of them and, you know, tell you all the pros and cons and stuff like that. So I got that this week. Um, and in with my, um, you know, samples and my goodies and stuff, I got this, the All Nighter from Urban Decay um, spray. I guess it's like Fix Plus or something, but it's, I have something else in it. it's long lasting makeup setting spray and I used it today for the first time so we'll see how that goes and I'll let you know let me look in my thing and see if I've got anything else um, at the hair place the other day um, when I was getting my lip gloss they had these at the counter for just like three dollars and I love anything Purology and this is called Purology um, Texture Twist and let's see reshaping styler and I used it today. Um, what I used it for is, you see it's like a, it's not really, it's not as gooey. I used to have some stuff I think from Bedhead that was just like, I'm talking glue when you tried to put it on your hands. But this is not as sticky and it smells just awesome and it gives you shine. It gets great reviews when I came home and looked it up. But that's what I use, like if I want to get just separate, separation in my hair. I used it today and I just, basically you know just kept scrunching it like this and you can see it makes it shine and it just it's almost you don't even have to use hairspray after you use this because it just keeps it kind of molded to that without being sticky love it i will definitely be getting a new and i read on the directions that you could um use it when you're in your damp hair or dry hair so that'll be something else interesting to try and then I got something else wonderful this week. Another I cannot remember her. Her name is Damaris, and I cannot remember. It's Damaris something. I got, she has been telling me about the Kirkland shampoo and conditioner from Costco. Now, I don't, I have a Costco, but I don't go. We go to Sam's if we go to something like that, but we really don't go to those stores very often. I'm not a good in bulk shopper. Um, but she sent me some of their shampoo and conditioner to try, and let you guys know how it goes. Um, she's been telling me about this for a while. And then she finally, you know, said, can I please send you some so that you can try it? And um, I think it's sulfate free and just, you know, all those things um, that Michelle 1218 talks about. I'm not as up on stuff like that, but I do know that I try to get the um, shampoos that are good for colored hair because I do have color on my hair. So um, she sent me that and then Another thing I got this week, and let me make sure I know where the other one is. Elizabeth, Unlimited Elizabeth. She has been a subscriber of mine for a long time, and she makes wonderful videos. She sent me a message and said that she is starting to make rings out of Swarovski crystals. I always say that word wrong. And she would like to send me one. And so, of course, I'll, um, she's doing it, um, selling them on her blog. And, of course, I will link her down below. And so I looked and I picked out something and the one I picked out was this one and I cannot remember the name of these but it is a genuine stone and then she makes it and I just adore this ring and here it is and it is beautiful I told her I wanted one with a gold band 
and that's what and I love the way the stone she's got it going through the stone and the way it moves and let me show you it on my hand and it is gorgeous and I can wear it on that finger or this finger and matter of fact she sells some smaller ones I believe there's like a heart and a star and I'm thinking about maybe getting a smaller one to go along with it on this hand so that is the, I cannot remember, if I look it up, I'll put it right there, and I'm definitely going to put the link down below. So that's the one that she sent me, and as soon as I got it that day, when I went to thank her, I went on her website and ordered another one, because I just loved it so much. And then this is the one that I ordered, and I cannot remember the name of it either, but this one has the silver band. I know she has a solid black one too that she put with like a dark silver band, and that is really pretty. I'll probably end up getting all of them. But I'm wearing it today, and you can see how beautiful it is. It catches the light, and I just love the way the band is. I mean, it's just like something you would see one of the stars wearing or something that was, you know, just, you know, $500, like in the style magazines. And I just love all the colors that that picks up. So these, I believe this one was $29, and the smaller ones are right at $20, which I think is the best deal. I think they are wonderful for gifts. I just think it's beautiful, and I'm so proud of her, and I think she's done a great job, and I'm going to order, be ordering more, Elizabeth. So, is that it? I think that's it. For I'm going to be right back to do a quick outfit of the day. You guys might remember this dress from one of my shopping trips. I got it. It's just a wrap dress, and I got it from the Kenneth. Did I get it from Kenneth Cole? I think I got it from Banana Republic, the Banana Republic outlet, and I just love wrap dresses. And I put it with my um, Jeffrey Campbell buckle shoes. And I'm going to carry my coach bag, my spotlight. And for accessories today, I have on my, um, I think they're Tanzanite and aquamarine earrings that John got me. Um, I've got on a little necklace that he got me one year. It's got the just a little diamond high heel on it. And I've also got a bracelet that goes with that that has the, here's the high heel on it, and it just has like a heart and a butterfly and what else? Um, a purse. All the stuff that I like and a diamond star. And I believe he bought them two separate occasions. And then my Michael Kors watch and the ring that I got from Unlimited Elizabeth and her website, and I will put that down below. And, oh, nail polish is OPI My Private Jet, which is one of my all-time favorites. I think I will always have this. So, and I am going to go. I have not been to the mall or anywhere all week. Um, I'm going to just go out there and have a good time. I go talk to my friends out there, and I hope you guys have a great week. We'll see. Bye-bye.